The home, now called River House, majestically sits on 160 acres overlooking the New River, where it's been since the 1870s. The Inn's founder is Gail Winston. When I bought the property, which was in 1988, we're now going on 35 years, I have scars to show for every year. Spend five minutes talking with Gail and you'll quickly learn the secret to River House. She is part of the charm of what makes this place so awesome. And she's got all the energy in the world and she's got stories and she loves to see everyone that walks through the door. In 2009, Gail was awarded the Order of the Longleaf Pine, North Carolina's highest civilian honor, for her contributions to the hospitality industry. I'm 10th generation Ash County, and I lived in New York for 20 years. I worked for Time Magazine, and I produced plays. And of course, it started out, everybody loves Gail, and then it, it just flows out from there. That's Julie Millinet. She and her husband, Matt, were frequent guests until Gail persuaded them to become co-owners in 2016. They were getting ready to downsize, so I said, well, why don't you come and live here? And they did. <laughs> no, I mean, and they did, like almost immediately. Their house sold in, a, in about an hour and a half. I called Gail first and said, were you really serious? Because we're about to be homeless now. She was serious, all right. Together, they're continuing the traditions of River House, starting with the bar and restaurant located inside the main house. And the food is incredible. I have never had a morsel of food here that isn't just the best. Well, of course, we use a lot of local ingredients, but it's a, the food is very good. Breakfast is one of the best breakfasts you can have anywhere, I promise. Dinner is served Wednesday through Saturday evenings with two seatings, one at 6 p.m. and the next at 7.30. There will be five or six appetizers, five or six entrees, the same with desserts. Gail's passion for the arts, in this case music, comes alive on Sunday. <laughs> it is wonderful and we have music often and when possible musicians are on the front porch. People sit down below on the lawn to hear music. Dinner is slightly different on that day too. On Sundays we do four course set menus that the chef decides. It's a fun thing in the sense that we have the entertainment and then we have our dinner but we don't really know what the chef's going to create for us. On this night, the first course is fresh butternut squash soup. And it's just magnificent. Second course is black grouper. It was amazing, yes. Third course will be beef tenderloin. Always, he gets it just right, whatever temperature you want it. And you can always count on a delicious dessert. After dinner, it's a short walker drive up to the guest rooms, which have been renovated from the property's original outbuildings that meander up the hillside from the restaurant. We have all together 13. The existing buildings pretty much look like they did back then, but inside they're renovated. They're king-size beds and whirlpool tubs and, and gas log fireplaces, and uh, you know, it's, it's rather elegant. In a, in a country way. The same can be said for the inn's owners, as well as every square inch of River House. We want people to get away from their busy lives and come here, be pampered with our good food, relax, sit on the porch. We had a review that said about River House, it's elegant without a trace of pretension. The River House Inn and Restaurant is at 1896 Old Field Creek Road in Grassy Creek. That's in Ash County. To book your room or make dinner reservations, give them a call at 336-982-2109 or visit them online at riverhousenc.com.